Hello and welcome to Civil Times. Today, we're diving into how to write a review paper. Whether you're a student or a researcher, understanding how to create a review paper is crucial. Let's get started. What is a review paper? A review paper is a comprehensive summary of research on a specific topic. Unlike an original article, which presents new findings, a review paper synthesizes existing research to provide an overview of the current state of knowledge. How many pages should a review paper be? The length of a review paper can vary depending on the topic, the amount of available research, and the requirements of the journal or publication. However, most review papers range from 10 to 30 pages, with an average of around 20 pages. This length allows for a thorough examination of the topic while maintaining a focused and concise approach. In some cases, the page count may go beyond 30 pages, particularly for more complex or extensively researched topics. The length of the review paper should be determined by the scope of the topic, the depth of analysis required, and the guidelines provided by the target publication. Who is eligible to write a review paper? Typically, researchers or experts in a particular field who have a strong understanding of the current state of research are best suited to write review papers. This includes 1. Experienced researchers Researchers with a track record of publishing original research in the field and a deep understanding of the topic are well positioned to write review papers. 2. Postgraduate students PhD students or postdoctoral researchers who have conducted extensive research in a specific area may write review papers under the guidance of their supervisors. 3. Collaborators A group of researchers with complementary expertise can collaborate to write a comprehensive review paper, bringing together their collective knowledge and perspectives. 4. Invited experts. Journals or conference organizers may invite recognized experts in a field to write review papers on specific topics. In general, the author of a review paper should have a strong grasp of the current research landscape, be able to critically evaluate and synthesize findings from multiple studies, and provide insights into future research directions. Differences between a review paper and an original article. An original article includes sections like introduction, methods, results, and discussion. It reports new research findings. In contrast, a review paper includes an introduction, a detailed review of the literature, and a conclusion summarizing existing research and identifying gaps. Advantages and disadvantages. First, the author will benefit from understanding the existing knowledge, providing them an opportunity to identify solid gaps. For authors, a key advantage of a review paper is its potential for high citation rates, meaning greater recognition, and for journals, it boosts their citation scores. Readers benefit from review papers because they provide concise and synthesized knowledge, saving time by presenting a comprehensive overview without the need to search through numerous individual studies. If well-written, review papers have a high acceptance rate in high-impact factor journals. However, if a review paper is not written well, it has a high probability of being rejected compared to an original article. The disadvantage is that review papers might lack originality since they summarize existing knowledge. However, they offer novelty in synthesizing in presenting this knowledge. On the other hand, original articles contribute new findings directly from the researcher involving unique methodologies and interpretations. Both types of papers have their own importance. Content structure of a review paper. The content structure of a review paper typically includes introduction, introduce the topic and its significance, literature review, discuss and analyze existing research, this section is often divided into subsections based on themes or methodologies. The literature review may also have different chapters depending on the nature of the study. Conclusion, summarize key findings, highlight gaps, and suggest future research directions. Steps to write a review paper. Let's go through the steps to write a review paper. Step one, select a topic or title. Start with a broad area of interest. To narrow it down, read existing review papers in your field. Notice what has been covered and identify gaps. Sometimes you may find that combining insights from different papers can create a unique perspective. Alternatively, 
read original research papers to spot areas that need a comprehensive review. Step two, collect references. Gathering references is crucial. Use tools like Google Scholar, Cite, Semantic Scholar, or connected papers to find relevant papers. Google Scholar is a widely used database that can help you find scholarly literature across many disciplines and sources. Cite, Semantic Scholar, and Connected Papers are AI tools that can help you see how papers are interconnected and find the most influential studies in your field. Step three, summarize main findings. Carefully review and analyze all the data and results from the existing research. This critical examination will help you identify the most significant findings and ensure you don't miss any important information. Use a table to summarize the main findings, especially numerical values. In this case, you don't need to rush yourself. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, so make progress in collecting the main information in a table. Try to cover the main information in the table. For example, if you're studying electrically conductive concrete, you can summarize properties like the mixed design, mechanical results such as compressive strength, flexural strength, and tensile strength, electrical properties like electrical resistivity, and other important properties like maximum temperature and self-sensing performance or self-heating performance. Step four, manage your references. To keep track of your references, use reference management tools like Mendeley, EndNote, or Zotero. These tools help you organize your papers, create citations, and build your bibliography effortlessly. Step five, use AI tools for grammar check and readability. When writing, AI tools can be beneficial. Here are some you can use. Paraphrasing. Use tools like ChatGPT, Cloud, Copilot, Jenny AI, or Gemini to help rephrase content to avoid plagiarism while maintaining the original meaning. Additionally, you can use Quillbot for paraphrasing and Grammarly for enhancing your grammar. Proofreading. These AI tools can check your grammar and spelling to ensure your paper is polished. Checking conceptual accuracy. AI can help you verify that your explanations and interpretations are accurate. However, it's important to note that AI may not be perfect for checking conceptual accuracy. As a researcher, you should always double check the AI's suggestions against existing literature. Keep in mind that most AI models may not have the most up-to-date information. Grammar and style. Ensure your writing is clear and concise with the help of AI. It's crucial for researchers to be aware of the rules surrounding the use of AI in various journals, especially Elsevier, one of the world's most renowned journals. Elsevier's policy on the use of generative AI and AI-assisted technologies in writing is as follows. AI tools should only be used to improve readability and language, not to replace key authoring tasks such as producing insights, drawing conclusions, or providing recommendations. Authors must disclose the use of AI tools in their manuscript, and a statement will appear in the published work. AI tools should not be listed as authors or co-authors, nor cited as authors. The use of AI tools to create or alter images in submitted manuscripts is not permitted, with the exception of AI-assisted imaging approaches used in research design or methods. The use of AI tools in the production of artwork, such as book covers or graphical abstracts, is not permitted. By adhering to these guidelines, authors can maintain transparency, trust, and compliance with the terms of use of the relevant AI tools while ensuring the integrity of their work. Step 6. Decide on the journal. Finally, decide on the journal where you want to submit your review paper. Consider the scope, audience, an impact factor of the journal to ensure it aligns with your research goals. Each journal has specific guidelines, so tailor your paper accordingly.